extent that there's uncertainty right now in the health pandemic, the policy response, the impact of fiscal and monetary stimulus, the timeline of different cities, counties, states, not to mention federal guidelines coming off to reopen the economy. Okay, there's a wide variance of possibilities of things that could go more right than expected and more wrong than expected. And it creates a very complicated milieu for us. And we do not have a bullish view on the, let's say, S&P 500 per se, um, nor a bearish view. We're anticipating range-bound markets as we kind of uh, struggle through this with varying degrees of opportunity within that, some of those opportunity sets that we've talked about here today. But the one issue that is, I think, really a permanent bullish perspective from the bonds group is the idea that the entrepreneur adjusts, that the human spirit is accustomed to adversity and accustomed to doing what it has to do to survive and thrive through adversity. And any viewpoint that requires us to short the human spirit is not a viewpoint we're going to subscribe to. It's not going to happen. Uh, there will be challenges in the economic price level. There will be challenges in unemployment. There will be challenges in macroeconomics. And there will be individual companies that don't make it. And there will be individual companies that do really well out of it. But what there will not be is a redefinition of entrepreneurship, whereby the entrepreneur becomes unable to accommodate the new realities that they have to face on a day-by-day -day basis. Innovation and that sort of indomitable reality of the human spirit is something I will go along the rest of my investing career. I hope that's helpful for you to hear. I appreciate the uniformity and viewpoint out of my colleagues and partners here from the Bonson Group. We wish you and yours a very good, safe, and free rest of your week. Thanks for listening to the Dividend Cafe.